Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Please excuse my annoying sometimes hair, dreadlocks, okay. Um, they have a mind of their own right now. And they're getting long. Okay, so Aquarius, let me just tell you this. Uh, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other strong Aquarius placement. I need this for you. Okay. Okay, thank you. My son just came to bring me a peppercorn. He's like, here, mommy, for you. He knows that peppercorns are good for protection, so he's funny. Um, Aquarius. So this is for, you know, whoever has strong Aquarius placements, okay, tap it. Okay, because this is going to be for you. So, Aquarius. I attempted to do your reading, like, right before this video. And uh, two cards came out. And the two cards that came out were the five of swords and the star which is your energy swords is gemini libra aquarius and then the star is aquarius energy so that right there was kind of letting me know that you're kind of conflicted okay but as i was getting into the reading my 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 it, it was saying that i didn't have enough memory space and stuff give me a second you guys Sorry about that, you guys. My kids barged in. But Aquarius, uh, there's some type of conflict that's going on around you. Let me close this because I don't want my neighbors to be nosy. I have thin walls and stuff like that, and yeah. So um, let me move this inset too. So Aquarius, <sighs> either there's a lot of conflict around you or there's like a lot of like... um. Conflict, annoyance, drama around you are like either you, you can possibly be like self-conflicted. Yeah, but there's like a lot of conflict and drama that's surrounding you. Okay, with the five of sword energy and the star energy that I saw. Tell me about Aquarius. Surrender to the divine. Bring love into the situation. Give me one more for Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or any other strong placements. One more. Let me get one more. You're very close to achieving your goal. Okay, so surrender to the divine. Bring love into the situation. And you're very close to achieving your goal. Bottom. Prosperity lies ahead. And this is new moon in Taurus. So Aquarius. Um, I don't know. Aquarius. I don't know why I'm picking up on this. But you can be an Aquarius. That has like strong Taurus. Okay, so you can be an Aquarius with a Taurus rising, Taurus moon, Taurus Venus. Okay, you can have a strong Taurus placement. Okay, but we have prosperity lies ahead. You can also be dealing with a Taurus. Okay, it doesn't have to be romantic. Okay, it can be your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, a co-worker. Okay, um, let's get into this. So... Yeah, with the whole conflict thing and the drama thing, I'm like, yeah, like, bring love into the situation. That's the best thing to do. When there's, like, conflict and stuff, like, the best thing to do is just try to bring, like, love and peace into the situation. Give me one second, you guys. I got to check on my kids. <sighs> Sorry about that. I went to go check on my kids. They're running around and trying to act all crazy. And it's early in the morning. All right. Tell me about Aquarius, please. What's going on with Aquarius? Ooh, car down. Ooh. <sighs> okay. Three of Wands. This is about waiting for your ships to come in, some type of negotiation, some type of trade. Uh -huh. 
you're waiting for something. There's some type of goal. Because we also have, you're very close to achieving your goal, surrender to the divine, and prosperity lies ahead. So you're waiting for some type of goal or like some type of prosperity. What else? What else for Aquarius? What else do I need to know for the Aquarians? Thank you. Two cards came out. Whoo, okay. The Magician in the Reverse and the Two of Cups. This is right underneath bring love into the situation. So Aquarius, it's kind of like, I feel like you might be a little bit conflicted because you might be running out of ideas to like satisfy this connection. Like maybe there's not enough love or maybe you feel like there's not enough love or maybe you're not giving enough love. You're not getting enough love. <sighs> Tell me more for Aquarius. Ooh, car down again. The road in the reverse. Okay, so the road is in the reverse. So you're refusing to close out some type of cycle. Okay. Judgment is at the bottom of the deck here. This is about like a renewal. This is about a new beginning. This is about like forgiving and forgetting and starting new. Hmm. Let's see, Aquarius. Let's see. Let's get into this. I'm going to, I want to clarify these. I'm going to clarify these. Um, I just split the deck to shuffle and I saw the fool. So this is about, you know, taking a leap of faith. You know, yeah, this is your energy right here, Aquarius. There's something that you need to, like, do that's a little bit possibly risky. Or you feel like it's risky. It's You might feel like it's irresponsible. Or you might be a little bit scared to, like, take that leap. Like, maybe it's just something kind of serious. Um... Maybe this has to do with, you know, a higher level of commitment. Um, maybe it has to do with love. All right. Tell me about the three of rods. Tell me about the three of rods. Thank you. Yes. Aquarius, you're waiting for love. You're waiting for somebody to bring you a cup of love or you're like... Someone's waiting for you to bring them a cup of love. Tell me more about the three of rods. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So the three of rods is here with... The knight of cups, the ten of cups, and the high priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Yeah. You might feel like there's not enough love in your marriage. And like this is something that you're waiting for. Or maybe... <sighs> Surrender to the Divine. And this is in regards to like waiting for your ships to come in. Um... This can be about like you, like, yeah, I feel like you might be scared to close out a cycle and jump into the next and like get married. And um, Aquarius, there's a possibility that you could have been a player in the past. Okay. And you're possibly kind of scared. The sun. The High Priestess is clarified with the Four of Rods, the Sun, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yes. Aquarius, this is looking like so far. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not going to like jump to conclusions, you know, but this is like some type of secret that you're holding back. Like, you feel like you're missing out on love when it comes to a marriage. Possibly. Hmm. 
I feel like you're just like waiting for abundance. Like you're waiting for like your, your abundance to just come in. Like you're waiting for your, or this can be you like negotiating something with somebody in regards to love and abundance. And this is like a secret. Okay. Clarify the sun. I'm going to clarify the sun because the sun can also, Ooh, Ooh. Okay. Okay. The sun can also represent secrets coming to light. So give me a second. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Three are rods on the bottom of this one. Okay, I kind of see what's going on. Yet, <clears throat> so Aquarius, the sun is, you know, overall happiness. Okay, this is about abundance and stuff. Which makes sense because this kind of like talks about, like this kind of reminds, the sun kind of reminds me of the Ten of Cups a little bit. Okay, but the sun is clarified with the Queen of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Six of Swords. So this is about like, you know, getting, getting out of that, you know, like conflict, spiteful, yelling, arguing energy. And this is about, you know, like, yeah. There needs to be an end to like the stop like whoever you're dealing with or even if it, if this is you Aquarius like there needs there needs to be an end of like the spitefulness because the Queen of Swords is is somebody who can be kind of spiteful has a sharp tongue uh, an attitude okay but like the Queen of Swords is going to the King of Cups and then the King of Cups is like trying to like you know bring love into the situation in order to move away to calming waters, okay? So, Aquarius, this can be you trying to get out of this, like, you know, harsh energy, okay? This harsh energy of, like, you know, just kind of always constantly being bitter. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Okay. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Thank you. Yeah, this is about needing to put in the effort. Okay. Tell me more. Yeah, somebody needs to put in the effort to show more love. Yes. The Empress is here. So maybe you need to put in some more effort towards your Empress. Or maybe like the Empress needs to put in some more effort yeah yeah Aquarius this can be you yeah there's like a lack of energy here oh my battery is at nine percent so there's a lack of like there's a lack of like some good energy okay so I feel like you know there's like some bad energy possible bad juju going on right now um uh, but there's there's a, uh, there's a need for somebody, possibly you are the person that you're dealing with. This person needs to put in the effort, okay? And, and bring love into the connection, okay? Which, yeah, because right here we have bring love into the situation, okay? If you want to turn this road upside down and you want to have a new cycle, you're stuck right now. Aquarius, you're stuck or somebody is stuck right now. But the only way to get it unstuck is to be civil, bring love into the situation, be loyal, be faithful, bring love into the situation. Uh, with the magician in the reverse, I'm also getting that there's a lot of manipulation in the relationship, okay? Possibly. Clarify the magician in the reverse. Are there's like a lack of ideas? Hmm. I'm getting that there's like a lack of ideas, a lack of imagination. A lot of closed mindedness, possibly. Tell me more about the magician in the reverse. 
the magician in the reverse is clarified with the seven of cups the ten of swords which talks about like the worst being over this can also kind of be about backstabbing tell me more about the magician in the reverse Yeah, this kind of talks about like manipulation causing confusion. But there's going to be like, there needs to be an end, okay? This talks about like the perfect desolation, like the worst is just done and over with. 10, this is 10, the number 10, this is endings, okay? So there needs, like, yeah, you need to put an ending to the manipulation the the closed mindedness um the lack of ideas the boredom i'm getting boredom like boredom like there's like a lack of effort because there's boredom there's a lack of effort there's a lack of effort when it comes to ideas there's a lack of effort when it comes to like imagination making plans and stuff but there's some type, like some type of confusion is coming to an end here. And that's going to bring balance. It needs to come in. The confusion, the manipulation and the confusion needs to come to an end in order to bring balance. Okay. Clarify the two of cups. Clarify the two of cups. Yeah, the two of cups. You uh, you need to have some type of like heart to heart conversation. Tell me more. Yes. Tell me more about the two of cups. Thank you. Yes. I'm getting that like you need to like leave the past behind or like. There's possibly some type of like unfinished business here with the seven of swords. I feel like there's something, there's something that like, there's some type of unfinished business. There's something that you need to talk about. Okay. Aquarius. There's some type of communication. This can also kind of be about, you know, closing out a cycle and breaking up with somebody because the ace of swords can also be the sword that severs a relationship. Clarify the ace of swords. This can also be about like a new beginning and career. Ooh, okay. Yeah, uh, this is all about like needing to loosen your grip. But this is also about like holding on to the connection. I feel like this, the four, I feel like the four of pentacles is like saying that like continue to hold on to the, the continue to hold on to this con connection. Keep holding on to this relationship. Okay. Don't let go of this relationship. Y'all need to learn how to forgive and forget. Okay. When it comes to petty ass little arguments and little fights. Okay. Tell me about judgment what is this about um yeah this can be about you know i feel like this you know forgiving and forgetting i feel like this can possibly like be about like you know communication about you know like apologizing I feel like this has to do with an apology, an apology for not giving in, you know, you know, the six of the six of pentacles is here. And I and, and this to me talks about like an equal give or take, you know, I feel like there was an equal give or take. There was no equal give or take. There was a lack of reciprocity. OK, reciprocation. Um, things could have been kind of one sided. Distant. Quite distant. OK. So I feel like there's going to be like a renewal. Yeah. And again, again with this. Yes. So I feel like there could have been like a lack. Okay. When it came to like reciprocation. Okay. Um, tell me about the road in the reverse. Yes. The road is in the reverse and you're not going to get you're, like... In order to close out a cycle and begin a new one, 
You need to get rid of this toxicity. Tell me more about the road and the rebirth for Aquarius. Justice came out in the reverse. Tell me more. And the Queen of Pentacles came out in the reverse. And the tower is on the bottom. Huh. So yeah, there's something here that's not quite like equal. There's something here that's very toxic, not justice, not fair. Clarify the justice and the reverse. This is causing like headaches, keeping you up at night. This can also be about a Libra. You can be dealing with a Libra. Tell me more about justice. You could have closed out a cycle or ended a cycle with a Libra. Tell me more. Yeah, this person could have been like, you know, your wish fulfillment. Yeah, the star. Um, this could have been somebody that, oh, hold on. You might have an obsession or something even. You can possibly have an obsession with a Libra and possibly a... Uh, a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. Like, there can be some type of obsession. But I feel like there needs to be, like, like, there needs to be some type of, like, new spiritual cycle or something. The Five of Cups came out in the reverse. So, yeah, like, manifesting. I feel like you're manifesting, you know, letting go of the past. The Five of Cups is like somebody who is like, you know, dwelling over the past and stuff. That can be another thing that's causing this, like the lack of the lack uh, a lack of, you know, getting into a new cycle, closing out a cycle, getting into a new one, forgiving and forgetting, you know, new beginnings. Hmm. Clarify the Five of Cups in the reverse. Clarify the Five of Cups in the reverse. There's some type of like quick thinking, quick action, possible spying. A past person can be spying. You can be like spying on a past person. Who? Page of Cups. What is this Page of Cups about? Work. You're going to get a shocking message while you're at work. What is this message about? The tower. There's going to be a tower possibly. Why? What's going to cause this tower? What is this tower? Yeah. Someone's walking away. Or you want to walk away. Possibly from a job. You want to walk away from a third party situation. Tell me more. That wanted to pop out. Strength. 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 Oh, yeah, this can be about a third party. This can possibly be about juggling. You could have been juggling. You could have been juggling a Libra and a Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. There's like, there needs to be a new beginning, but it's being blocked. Or oh, like an ending, it's being blocked. The page of rods, this talks about like, yes, the lovers. The magician, this talks about like ideas. Somebody's like shouting an idea about like messages or something. Two of Swords is here. This talks about like needing to make a decision. This can talk about some type of intimacy. And then right after that, I got this. So can somebody be pregnant? Is this about like love? Yes. 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 Aquarius, you could have been juggling. You could have been juggling. You could have been juggling. 
or maybe you're off balance and in order to like, you know, maybe you need to bring love into this situation in order to find balance. Oh, yes. The past is here. You can be juggling with like a past person and like a new person. Yeah, there's some like shady ass bullshit that's going on. Clarify the eight. Yeah. I kind of feel like you're lying to somebody about like marriage and stuff. Yeah. Oh gosh, secrets. This is also Pisces energy here. The six of cups is clarified with the eight of swords in the reverse, the ace of pentacles and the moon. I almost feel like you're lying to somebody and you really want to actually like move on with a possible like Cancer or Pisces. Yes, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Clarify the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's kind of going crazy and like it can be this past person that's like kind of going crazy. Yeah, Knight of Swords, someone's traveling. Aquarius, are you traveling to see somebody like behind somebody's back? Do you have a secret relationship somewhere else that you're not telling somebody and you're traveling to see this person, possibly this like Cancer Scorpio Pisces? This is Pisces energy, but there's some type of secret that's going on here, Aquarius. And the only way that you're going to be happy and the only way that you're going to get out of this cycle is if you bring love into the situation and you possibly just like stop, stop cheating because it's toxic. Either you're being very toxic and you're doing toxic things and you're manipulating somebody. There's a lot of secrets here. Again, with the high priestess, there's a lot of secrets here. But I feel like you need to put the juggling to an end because there's going to be a tower. Somebody is going to end up finding out about cheating. And it's so funny, Aquarius. It's so funny because I literally did a video for you guys uh, maybe like a week ago. And that was a lot of third party energy. And again, there was Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Libra energy, and a lot like there was Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and a lot of Libra. So Aquarius, I almost feel like you're dealing with a bunch of multiple people. Aquarius, you can be dealing with an air sign, a water sign, and an earth sign. You can be a player. And I'm not going to lie, like that's not very good energy to be like getting yourself into, especially if you have a wife and kids. But judgment is here. 